is my hopefully last first day of a fall semester uh, in college and at Texas A&M. I hate college. I love A&M. College is dumb. Universities are dumb. Uh, that's a whole nother video. But guys, we got some really cool stuff uh, to talk about in this video. Some stuff that I am beyond excited to have on the build. And uh, I'll show you all a little bit. I'll show you all the drive. Hopefully I can catch some uh, some idiots doing things while we uh, while we drive down the road. But gotta go, gotta knock some college out and then we're gonna get right into this video. Let's be honest. That's probably the best part of this monster right here. So guys, you know, I said this last year a little bit in some of the videos, but I just want you to look around real quick. There is not anybody around me, right? Because nobody wants 8 a.m. classes. I'm here for a 9.30 class. There's nobody around me. 15 parking spots, both sides, you know, rows in front. Literally, it's 8.14. I bet by 9, 9.30-ish, it's going to be so packed here it's gonna be insane but you know that's why you get here early you know what I'm saying but all right guys so today's video is going to be about my new hitch right it is so badass and it's so versatile and I'm really you're gonna see me do something with this hitch that you've never seen anybody do before uh, I know it for a fact uh, I, mm, there, there's some tweaks I have to do, but I, I'm going to show y'all how I plan on using this hitch and how this hitch is going to really, really benefit my build and uh, the hitch just happens to, um, if you, uh, mm, there's really no other way to put it, but if you bought the hitch exactly the way it looks back there. It's almost a thousand bucks for all of it, but we'll get into that. All right, guys, I got to go bike to class and do some other stuff. I'll see y'all soon. Now I'm going to show y'all the setup, guys. If you don't have one of these... I really think you're going to be jealous. So we're, we're going to check this out. So what we have, and I don't know how to say this, if it's Gen Y or it's Ginny or Ginny or, I don't know, with a dash makes me think Gen Y, but I'm just going to say Ginny for lack of better terms. But we have the four slot, nine inch drop hitch. We have the, they call it the tri-ball. It has the uh, part two put another ball if you want or I don't know all I'm saying is, is this thing is literally a solid block of steel I'm assuming and it is very very robust and heavy duty what we have here is the I don't know what what they called it it's I don't know it's it's a step they have they have a name for it but I don't remember what it is and then of course we have our locking mechanism bolt lock and I will get into this in hmm a little bit later in this video so guys as you know my last truck I went with a bulletproof hitch bulletproof is a great company they make a great great product uh, it saved my bumper in the rear end of my truck multiple times from idiots parking near me at Texas A&M but I had to uh, make the switch to this really due to the convenience and the versatility 
right and I'll explain to y'all one of the things here in a second this one thing sold me on this hitch the ability to reverse drop hitch yes that's exactly what I mean take the drop hitch turn it upside down and still use the slots as well as raising it and this is what I'm doing this for so Whenever I put my kayaks in the back of my truck, I have the truck vault and they're raised about 10 inches. I have a bed extender and the bed extender, it does an all right job, but it still cants the kayaks because it just, it's not tall enough, right? And this, it's gonna raise that nine inches. It's going to offset that and hopefully it works perfect. And in a future video, I will update it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the whole hitch back together, show you all how I'm gonna be running it and just go a little bit more in detail uh, about the hitch, maybe some of the specifics. So what we have right here is how the hitch is set up currently and how it will be set up every day as I'm driving. I really hope nobody decides to test their bumper against my uh, hitch. So as you can see, this is how we have it set up. Have the, the ball tucked backwards out of the way in case I need it. Then I have the step because I'll be stepping more into the back. If I wanted to, I could take that step off, flip that around, and have a step. And I guess technically have a little bit more sturdy uh, protection. But one of the things I'll say is this is the little sleeve GM provides you to shrink the interior diameter of your little female hitch end and uh, this doesn't fit in here it's unfortunate but um, I'm gonna have to shave it down or something you know I don't know sand it grind it something like that the only thing I'd use this for is because my tailgate extender is a two inch hitch and it just, this just relieves all the uh, the bouncing and whatnot from putting it just inside the two and a half but this I do believe let me see let me see here we go 21,000 pound class 5 two and a half inch receiver hitch dang and guys I in no way intend for the title of this vehicle to be any way deceiving at all because if you go on their website and you price the step the tri ball the nine inch drop hitch and three of the locks and you're gonna come out to like 819 or so and if they don't provide free shipping plus tax you're looking at pretty much a thousand bucks for the setup if you only wanted to hitch I think it's like 419 or something like that you're paying for these but it's if you're using it it's worth it and in my opinion because of the versatility this is hands down the best drop hitch on the market or reverse drop hitch if you're gonna use it like me you know and with that that leads me into this right here which is the bolt lock and the uh, bolt lock system so what's really awesome about this is you use your standard car key it's very simple you remove your little tab insert your key and you twist You'll feel it break and it resets, it goes out, and there you go. And now your lock is tuned for your key. And that's everything. That is, uh, I have a bicycle lock now, I have two of these, and I have three of them for my hitch. And like I said, all you have to do, use your key, open it up, and then, you know, I don't do much for looks, but we're just going to dangle. Give, give them a dangle, you know what I mean? See if we can put these anywhere where they can, I can have them, they're out of sight, but they're, they're, they're there if I need them. And actually, let me see. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and hang off one of these on both sides. And actually, why not? You know, we're, we're gonna go ahead and do the second one too, just because we have it and we can. 
rip your little tab off, grab your key, insert, twist, when it opens, it's learned your key, there you go, and now you have your bolt lock set up. One-handed bolt lock techniques. All right, guys, and with that, uh, I hope y'all liked kind of the intro, little time lapse, and you know, just kind of showing you what I do for now, the most the most part of my day, at least from about eight o'clock to two or three in the afternoon every day now with school. Uh, I hope y'all like this new addition to the truck. Uh, it's so versatile guys like I said this thing is I don't know it's gonna help me a lot whenever I do go to transport my kayaks and really anything else that I need to extend the bed out with the bed extender so that's gonna be sweet and I want y'all to notice I didn't say anything really about towing stuff except for towing weights like what the, the capacity is right I have the capabilities to tow whatever I want I mean, I got the, the fifth wheel attachments covered up by the truck vault. I could rip that thing out. Now, the truck's too tall, but I, I could tow whatever I want with this. I just don't. I don't have anything to tow. I'm trying to get uh, some sort of duck boat for uh, this duck season. So if, if I get that, then obviously I'll just, you know, tuck this one back like this and put this one right there. And then bam, you know, boom, bing, bop, beat out boom you know and just like that I'm able to tow you know like just just because the trucks lifted doesn't mean that I'm not able to tow anymore or anything like that I just I don't know I don't I don't have anything to tow right now so I don't I don't tow anything if anybody needed help towing something you know I'd show up and tow something around I guess I don't know I, I really hope y'all like the bolt locks. I'm gonna try to link this stuff in the description. Uh, I'll link uh, Jenny Hitch, Guinea Hitch, Gen Y Hitch, whatever it is, bolt lock. I'll link all that stuff below if you wanna check it out. Uh, I don't have any discounts or anything with these companies. If I do, uh, eventually, all that'll be linked in the, in the description with those, but if I don't have it right now, then, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I don't have it yet, but yeah, guys, that's really going to conclude this video. You know, y'all already know. Bumpers are still at the powder coat shop. They showed up in multiple pieces. They all had a bunch of small pieces. Need to all be powder coated. And then it has to be put together. And then it has to be installed. And it's just sort of a tedious process. And it's going to wind up costing more from the powder coat shop. As opposed to just one big solid bumper. You just toss it up there. You know, whatever you want to call it. Spray it. Dust it powder it whatever it is and then bake it whatever the process is if y'all want to know more about the process go go check out uh d max rhino's video he went and literally powder coated a lot of the stuff for his truck it's pretty cool but with that the bumpers i'm having a lot of troubles with my shell um if y'all know anybody who sells shells tell them i'm in the market and i'm looking for one it looks like i'm not going to be able to get the shell through who i was getting it from and that's unfortunate but hey man i mean you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do all right guys and with that we're gonna conclude the video thank y'all so much for watching i really appreciate it hit that sub button hit the like button leave me some comments down below and if you don't already follow me on instagram at french at chevy off-roading and uh, we'll see you in the next video we're installing a gun safe in the truck